When I think back on the first in my life, whether it was my first memory or my first kiss or my first date, I think a lot of firsts stick with us. Some will leave us wounded and others will cherish forever. Whether it's starting a business or getting on the field for the first time, I realize that all of these firsts contribute to who I am today. But what breaks my heart is that some firsts are taken from us. เขาบอกว่าเขาแรกก็เขาก็ชวนมาทํางานด้วยป่ะเออไปทํามาพี่ไหมงานทางนี้ก็ได้เงินดีนะแต่มันต้องลงทุนนิดหน่อยเขาก
Education isn't free in Thailand. While it's required, the costs on it are very high. And Kat's mother, a single mom, couldn't afford to pay for Kat's education and was looking for alternative ways in which to be able to make income. And one of those ways was, was going back to Bangkok and working as a prostitute and bringing Kat with her. And so we want to give to them um, I don't know, <laughs> the amount that she needs to stay in school um, starting now and until college. Good. And so we're going to set up a scholarship through her teacher to keep her in school and hopefully to send her on to college. <laughs> One of the main reasons that children end up going to the cities to try and find a job is because there is a deep expectation for them to provide for their parents. So oftentimes we'll see children drop out of school between grade six or grade nine because they need to support their families. And yet, finding a job without an education is nearly impossible. And oftentimes this leads to children ending up in situations of exploitation. ชื่อเล่นชื่อนัทอยู่ชั้นมัธยมศึกษาปีที่สองค่ะชอบเรียนวิชาภาษาไทยจีนอังกฤษสังคมเราขึ้นในปีมหาวิทยาลัยค่
uh, production of the documentary. The same documentary re uh, inspired people to react and want to do something with the issue of human trafficking. First, we start to provide a scholarship, and shortly after that, we realized that we need a safe place for them to, to be after the school or during the weekend where the parents have to work. So this is a place where they can come and they can learn something. They can learn English and art, give them the vision of what is going to, uh, to be the future. Education and all the things that we offer is to make sure that they will make the right decision on their own. So Resource Center is the place we make sure you know, they know exactly what they're going to see in the city in the future, what kind of decision or awareness that they need to know and to make sure that they won't fall into the bad part or be able to say no and to save themselves and also save their friend and family. So five years ago, we asked the urgent question of does prevention even work? And we knew that we were up against a lot. Not only are we working within a country that has a thriving sex tourism industry, but the, the dropout rates amongst our students were extremely high. In the last five years, we've seen those dropout rates go from 50% down to under 10%. So prevention is obviously extremely hard to quantify. We'll never know how many of the students that we work with would have gone into the sex trade had it not been for our prevention programs and that for us is the point. That we never see the children that we invest in and we mentor and we offer scholarships to go into the sex trade. <laughs> ขอให้ปกป้องเพื่อนก็อย่าเชื่อคนง่ายอย่าเห็นแก่สิ่งรอบตัวแล้วแล้วก็ก็คิดว่าชีวิตเราไม่อยู่แค่เท่านี้ก